Good morning, everybody. RV living with the geezer. Out from my morning walk, and uh, here by the courthouse. That's the Hereford Cafe over there. Never did go in there, but uh, it wasn't open very long. They sh they just shut down at the end of July. <clears throat> Said they just couldn't make it. So uh, I don't know what the problem was. But uh, anyway, I never checked it out. That's where that uh, Class C was sitting. It o I only saw it sitting there for one day, though. So he may have sold it. He had a good price on it, uh, 53000 it only had 14,000 miles on it, so uh, he he probably sold it. But uh, yeah, I just figured I'd talk a little bit while I got my walking in this morning. It's a beautiful day. It was uh, 63 this morning, so cooling back down. But next week they're predicting uh, pretty hot again out here. So. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this weather. It's, it's a little weird. A little might might need to think about it a little bit. <laughs> don't know what you're gonna do about the weather though, huh? But, uh, speaking of the heat, my uh, granddaughter from Norway. Uh, she's my step granddaughter. My stepdaughter's daughter, Cecilia has come over to the United States and she uh, is visiting a friend in Oklahoma City which is only about three hours from my son's place in Boyd so she's going her and her friend are coming down there today to uh, meet up with them and it's pretty cool because uh, Linda and Brian uh, my ex-wife and my stepson are both there uh, taking care of the girls this week because Calvin already started school and uh, back to coaching and is in service. So they're they're coming today and have a big old family reunion. Calvin only gets here a few hours this evening though. He's he's putting in 12 hour days already. So, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, I just. I wish Cecilia a great time there. Wish I could have made it up, but uh, I just, I can't. It's, they're predicting 108 degrees in, uh, in Boyd today. Can you believe that? 108, it's, and it's, it's been that hot up there. So, folks, uh, uh, I hope that little Norwegian gal doesn't melt in this heat in Oklahoma City's really hot too so uh, anyway these guys are all over town these uh, I think they're putting in new fiber optic stuff I don't know this good old sleeping lion mountain let's see do I want to walk in the sun I guess so everybody lots of traffic out this morning Everybody's staring at me saying, what, what is this guy doing? Talking and videoing in our town. But uh, yeah, and the other thing I want to talk about is uh, uh, my friend Lisa Richter uh, posted on Facebook this morning about her, our all, all of our little buddy uh, Hammer. And uh, he starts his... Uh, uh, chemo today. Uh, he had a a place on his rear hip, I believe it was, or rear leg removed, and uh, it was it didn't turn out too good. So that he's starting his chemo, and I know he's going to be fine. So uh, she asked every, some good uh, juju and send some prayers, Hammer's way, Blanca's. Uh, both her and I prayed for old Hammer when I read that this morning. You got this, Hammer. You're a, I've, seen, I've never met him in person, but I've seen his picture, and I can tell he's a, he's a tough dude. He's one tough little guy. So, uh, Hammer, Hammer, you got this, buddy. And, uh, yeah, we'll just continue on here. 
I've been walking a while. My knee's holding up real good. So, just learn not to overdo it, you know. I came, let's see, I came, I think, to this building, whatever it is, one time and voted. It was election day. And that's where they had the voting. Oh, okay. It's a county clerk's office, district clerk. Okay. That makes sense. See, they don't have anything too fancy out here. That's for sure. But, uh, <clears throat> Here's an old original place. I know a lady that cleans this uh, out here. Keeps it clean. The people come out every now and then. When they're coming, she comes down here and cleans it up for them. Gets all the rattlesnakes and spiders out of there. Yeah. Look at these old tanks. Look at this old... That's a, that's an original old uh, holding tank for water. And it still looks like it might be in use. I don't know. That pipe doesn't look too bad on it. Isn't that something? Look at this old building. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's a good thing about going, doing some a little video on, on walks, you know? You can put a microscope to things. They used to have a, we used to come out here on vacation. They had a private bar in this place called Sherlock's. I believe it was this building. And you would go in and give them five bucks and you would get a, a permit to buy beer for three days because it was by precinct out here. It still is by precinct, but they've loosened up a lot. And uh, I think back then that was the only place you could get a beer in, in uh, Fort Davis. There in the Olympia Hotel, it had a private club upstairs also. So, and I told you what those things are the other day, right? Those, those fancy term for them is evaporative cooler. Common name for them is swamp cooler. And uh, I don't know why they call them swamp cooler because I don't think they'd work too well in a humid swamp. They depend on the air being dry. We used to have one this size in our house in Alpine. It worked great. You see, uh, th this one needs new pads. Inside that grill, there's some bamboo pads and there's a pump and that hose right there, there's a little sprinkler system up on the top of it and it drips down through those pads and keeps them wet. And then the water just recirculates in there, okay? And uh, then a fan blows through the, uh, blows the air out into the house. And uh, it sucks the air in, the air comes in through those bamboo, wet bamboo pads. And I tell you what, it, uh, they work, but you gotta have low, very low humidity for them to work. So you see them all over West Texas. They'll even put them up on a roof, a big one up on a roof and uh, uh, ducked it. They're uh, just like air conditioning. They're ducted into the house, some houses like that. Yeah. And uh, very efficient to run too. I mean, it's just like running a big fan. There's no compressor or anything, you know? So uh, it's a nice looking little place. That's a little, see that's a little zero scaping like I was talking about. So, okay, nine minutes, that's enough. Cecilia, I hope you enjoy your visit, girl. Uh, I'll remind uh, Grandma to uh, give you my channel name and you can uh, subscribe. I'll get another Norwegian subscriber. Your mama and uh, her friend Raymond watch me. So uh, I hope you all have a great visit and uh, uh, uh Linda's making them fajitas tonight. She said she wanted to do something Tex-Mex while Cecilia was in Texas for a day. She's only going to be in Texas for a day, I guess. 
They're going home tomorrow. Calvin and Stephanie are going to have a house full tonight. <laughs> Talking at you later, guys. Sleeping Lion Mountain, still asleep. Peace out. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Have a great day. Thanks for watching me. Bye-bye.